The Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches, the Church venerates the angels who help her on her earthly pilgrimage and protect every human being. We know that some of the saints had direct experiences with angels. Saint Faustina was one of these saints. Saint Faustina heard angels singing. She wrote in her diary number 1011, Today is the renewal, that is, the profession of vows in the course of a solemn celebration. As the sisters were making their vows, I heard angels singing in various tones, holy, 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 with chanting so delightful that no human tongue could ever match it. Sister Faustina was also served by the angels. When she was confined to bed due to illness, Sister David said that Faustina couldn't go to the chapel to receive Holy Communion. Saint Faustina was sad, but felt calm and resigned herself to doing God's will. The next day, a seraph angel surrounded by radiant light came to her saying, Behold the Lord of Angels, and the seraph gave Holy Communion to Faustina. She then drowned in the love of God and in amazement. She wrote that, the seraph was surrounded by a great light, the divinity and love of God being reflected in him. She described him in her diary, saying, he wore a golden robe and, over it, a transparent surplice and a transparent stole. The chalice was crystal, covered with a transparent veil. She said, as soon as he gave me the Lord, he disappeared. The seraphim angel visited Saint Faustina for thirteen days and gave her holy communion each time. God protected Sister Faustina with his holy angels. She wrote, I thanked God for his goodness, that he gives us angels for companions. Oh, how little people reflect on the fact that they always have beside them such a guest, and at the same time a witness to everything. Remember, sinners, that you likewise have a witness to all your deeds. This was after being accompanied by a great angel that rode with her on the train journey to Vilnius. Saint Faustina wrote, Then I saw one of the seven spirits near me, radiant as at other times, under a form of light. I constantly saw him beside me when I was riding on the train. I saw an angel standing on every church we passed, but surrounded by a light which was paler than that of the spirit who was accompanying me on the journey, and each of these spirits who were guarding the churches bowed his head to the spirit who was near me. Saint Faustina had a very close relationship with her guardian angel and greatly admired Saint Michael the Archangel. She shares in her diary, number 667, I have great reverence for Saint Michael the Archangel, he had no example to follow in doing the will of God, and yet he fulfilled God's will faithfully. During adoration, Faustina repeated the prayer Holy God several times, a vivid presence of God suddenly swept over me, and I was caught up in spirit before the majesty of God. I saw how the angels and the saints of the Lord give glory to God. The glory of God is so great that I dare not try to describe it, because I would not be able to do so. Saint Faustina wrote about her guardian angel many times in her diary. Her guardian angel instructed her to pray for the dying, and came to her rescue, as well. Saint Faustina recalled, when I went to the garden one afternoon, my guardian angel said to me, pray for the dying. She and the gardeners prayed immediately. After the rosary, we said various prayers for the dying. At another time, Faustina's guardian angel alerted her to the needs of a dying soul. Saint Faustina wrote, my guardian angel told me to pray for a certain soul, and in the morning I learned that it was a man whose agony had begun that very moment. The Lord Jesus makes it known to me in a special way when someone is in need of prayer. I especially know when my prayer is needed by a dying soul. This happens more often now than it did in the past. Her guardian angel also alerted her, and she prayed fervently for the souls of the dying. I feel vividly and clearly that spirit who is asking me for prayer. I was not aware that souls are so closely united, and often it is my guardian angel who tells me. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please like and subscribe as I prepare more videos on our beautiful Catholic faith. God bless you and keep you. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Our Lady of the Angels, pray for us.